Hi there. Hi. What's your name? My name is David Christopher, and uh, in this project I am playing Dr. Chapman. Dr. Chapman? What's, yes. uh, what's Dr. Chapman like? Well, Dr. Chapman is probably best described as a very old school, cut and dried kind of a doctor who doesn't necessarily give a lot of credence to alternative methods of treatment. So there, there comes after that conflict between uh, him and the doctor uh, and, and other doctors, younger doctors, because he doesn't really agree with their methods of practicing. Treating patients. Um, what about this project? Were you drawn to? Well, I, I, I'm drawn to Dr. Chapman because uh, he represents a, a bit of a departure, certainly for me. I played a lot of doctors in the course of my career. <laughs> You're very doctor. And uh, yeah, yeah, I just got that doctor vibe going. But uh, this Dr. Chapman is not the the nice, understanding, uh, calm, kind doctor uh, that that. I'm usually called on to play. He's very cut and dried, as I said. He he's a scientist in that he doesn't necessarily feel that there's room for a lot of emotion in treating patients. It's look at the science of the situation, give the appropriate treatment, boom, you're done. Also, he he's been in the business for a long time, and he he's become a bit cynical. Right? He's he's been worn down, perhaps, and uh, after seeing a lot of things over and over again, he becomes a little bit cynical about, about uh, some of the patients and some of the treatments and, and the whole system, I think. It sounds like Amy picked the right man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can, I can certainly, you know, the, my job as an actor is to, is to understand where he's coming from and, and um, I do. One, one can appreciate, you know, the, um, how many, many years in a high pressure situation like that can grind you down and, and perhaps turn on that cynical side of you. Yeah. It's good to hear that you um, you can bring that kind of compassion to the to the role that, you know, may might not get the best rap in terms of the character or their the point of view. Well to be effective to work effectively as as a character within the greater story, he's got to be yes, he's he's he provides conflict, but you've got to Simplify, sympathize with him. You know, you've got to understand his point of view a little bit, and that's my job: is is to make him, you know, is to help the audience see his point of view as well, so that they don't necessarily see necessarily see black and white through the story. Uh, that they want to see both sides of it and create a dialogue, really, about the whole situation, rather than just saying, "Oh yes, that's wrong. This is right. Game over." No, let's get the audience thinking and challenge them. Sounds great. I can't yes. wait to see what you do with it. Well, I'm, I can't wait either. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. <laughs>